58 times I died to get this item, the Withered Nether Star, in my Witherstorm survival world a few months ago. Which, in my opinion, is 58 times too many. I started that world in regular survival mode because I knew that my skill level at the time was not good enough to fight a wither storm in hardcore mode. I mean, if you've seen the series, you know what I'm talking about, and if you haven't seen the series, go see the series, because I'll be mentioning it quite a bit in this series. However, after I did it, I really didn't feel like I had accomplished as much. I mean, I completely cheesed the wither sickness thing by simply resetting my hearts by killing myself every time I got too low. I got eaten plenty of times, the sick and creeper thing happened in the second episode, that was uh, very fun. And I just generally felt like I should do it again, but obviously the YouTube algorithm is not necessarily going to take too kindly to me just doing the same thing a second time, so I need to give it a little twist, a little spice. But as I've already clearly explained, I'm not using any other mods to help me, or harm me for that matter, it's hard enough as it is. So why not do it again? In hardcore mode. Now earlier I said that my skill at the time wouldn't have been good enough for me to do it in hardcore mode, but now that it's been a few months, my skill level is still not good enough for me to do it in hardcore mode, but that's never stopped me before, so let's do it. Alright, this is the world so I'm going to be sending the next however long it takes me to kill this thing in. Probably going to be quite some time, I'll be honest, but, um, you never know. I do have a plan. You see that ocean over there? We're going straight to it. We're going to rush the ocean, and we're going to swim away from him before he can even remotely dream to catch up to me. Because we got 50 second head start, and I intend to use it to its fullest. So, without further ado, let's get this head right on its wither storm counterpart and spawn it in, as I did so many months ago. Boop. Okay, we go. We need that uh, crafting table, by the way. We gotta run. We don't have a lot of time. Right out into the open ocean. Gone. See a wither storm. Never gonna catch me. That's not necessarily true, but I certainly hope you'll never catch me. But you might catch me. Oh, and he's spawning in right now. And he's not going after me. Now that I see the wither storm's clutches, temporarily at least, I could begin the first stage of my plan. And that's telling you guys to like and subscribe to the video. Only a small percentage of the people who watch my videos are actually subscribed. And if all of you subscribe right now, the wither storm will die immediately. Alright, well, it was worth a try. Anyways, now that I have successfully plugged my YouTube channel, I then began the second step of my plan, which was locating shipwrecks. I boated along the water searching for any sort of wooden contraption that would have lots of iron, maybe even diamonds in it, and I did not end up finding any. So I continued across the ocean, searching for something that would help me in my quest. And I didn't find anything amazing, but my quest did lead me quite a few places. Um, I don't have a spyglass. Um, okay, okay yeah, I, I, yep, that, that's, that's the thing. I'm gonna break the axe on this. Never mind. But, four iron, not bad, not bad. Isn't it iron pick? I guess so. Uh, sleep, is it the end? Funny, honestly. Put more stone and let's get some hay and get on out of here. I missed my full right. Put it on, I guess. Ah, much better. It's the most pathetic game in the entire game. I don't have time for this. All right, portal made. Stupid iron. What do you mean? I haven't seen one of these since 1.17. Old fashioned wooden steel. Let's see where our spawn takes us. Okay. Don't appreciate this. Please don't turn off the portal. I hate you. 
He's right there. This is why the Nether is just a horrible place. All right, we need to get some gear. We're not ready for the Nether. And gear up I did. After having exhausted the first village, I decided to head on in another direction and actually located a second village within like 30 seconds of leaving, which is pretty crazy. And that village had a couple more hay bales, which I took, as well as a massive cave filled to the brim with iron and diamond once I headed down lower. And after spending around 30 minutes down there, I was absolutely geared out and finally ready to take on the nether. And now, look at us now, suited up. Full iron, iron sword, shield, which is technically made out of iron. With all this stuff, we can probably not kill a wither storm. I actually can even make an iron axe. Let's get some some of the blue stuff without juicy diamonds. Not lapis. Lapis is not as interesting as diamonds. <gasps> diamonds, diamonds. Just one, but. Really puts a shine on this gloomy day. Actually, outside right now, the sky is a brilliant shade of blue. It's gorgeous. But, uh, like any Skyblock non, I'm out looking for diamonds. Well, actually, in Skyblock, diamonds are kind of worthless. And now, with all that gear, I finally decided to take on the Nether. And this time, I'd stay there and actually accomplish something. Alright, maybe this Nether will be a little bit better than the last Nether. This is so, so much worse than the last nether. Alright, no nether travel for me. We'll do some dive mining, and then we'll get a bunch of blocks. I'm in pickaxe. We didn't get any diamonds from doing that. Actually, no. Diamond sword. I love diamond swords. I need you... For you. Lovely. Now we have a diamond sword. And hopefully I have enough blocks to breathe. Because... Uh, I should probably mark the coordinates now. Close enough. Ah! Would you look at that? A bastion, right for me getting absolutely genocided. Is it a treasure bastion? Doesn't look like it. Yeah, this is a treasure bastion. Um. Okay. I'm gonna melee you. Nope, even better. Right, they can't get me up here. Those were the days. Those were the days I didn't have to bring bastions. Any piglin that sees me will uh, try to commit genocide on me. Lock too high. Pork chops. Iron. Obsidian. Appreciated. And pants. That's actually kind of helpful. And some debris. Not particularly helpful. Actually, you know, I could just trade with the piglins. Full speed. One. Not the best, but I'll take it. So that does appear to be all for this past game, which is kind of cringe, honestly. I was hoping for more. Maybe I'll find something else. Probably not. Very well, if that's all I'm getting, then that's all I'm taking. That's the main treasure room, so uh, I'm out of here. Go into the walls. Get out the roof. I haven't done too much mining, but, uh, you know. oh, oh, yeah, there we go. Okay, found one. That took a respectable sum of time. Treasure Bastion, at least. Oh, the bottom first. Gotta get to the bottom of this, if you know what I'm saying. It's also, of course, a spawner, which... We cannot allow to exist. That is a horrible, horrible crime for spawners to exist. Oh yeah, there's a brute right there. <laughs> that was a close one. I say we go for it. All right, I think we've... Nope, we haven't, we haven't, we have not reached the castle undetected.
Now we've reached the castle undetected because all the witnesses are dead. Diamond chest plate. Absolutely, we'll take it. See ya, iron chest plate. Diamond sword. I'm breaking one. Kinda bad, not gonna lie. Some iron. Nah, whatever. You know what? I'll take it. There'll be a diamond pickaxe on the other side. I know how these things work. I've raided a treasure bastion plenty of times, and I do mean plenty. But trading obviously also going to be a very very amazing thing to do those magma cubes are rapidly approaching and if they did damage i would actually be nervous so uh, i'm not nervous and now we just gotta get back up onto the bridge and onto the other side Alrighty then and hello there good sir how are you on this fine day horrible well, i'm about to make you a whole lot worse pickaxe where's the pickaxe chest pickaxe Pickaxe. There's no pickaxe. And on this side, there should be another route. Another two routes, to be precise. Ah, the sweet serenading sounds of piglins dying. Nothing you can do. My lava is impenetrable. Now the pickaxe chest. Mending, honestly, I'll take it. You can get a pickaxe. Oh, hello. Okay, that was, uh... The first try! <laughs> Alright, it's bartering time, everybody. Get excited. There's a bunch over there. I think that's where we go. Um, alley-ho. Whee! Oh, hello. <laughs> no! Oh, that was funny. Oh. oh hello, everybody. Alright, I just found the trading zone. Oh, so everyone. Here, guys, take all that. Look at it. Look at all that beautiful gold. Everyone gets some gold. Two thousand years later. You guys out of gold over there? Looks like you guys are. Well, I suppose you're out of time then. Oh my god. I've supplied me the goods. 14 ender pearls. Jesus. One or two, you know? Where did my boots go? Full speed boots, full speed three. All right then. Now we recycle the junk. We accomplished all that we needed to. Look at us. We got ourselves 12 obsidian. We Let's go. He's probably phase four by now, which is not fun, but I have run a respectable sum, so hopefully I won't even see him. Let the world load in around me. Motion ruin over there. I really care about that. No weather storm. That's that way. I guess we're spawn zero zero. Um. Okay, we're like what five thousand blocks away from spawn. Okay, you, you know. A respectable amount I think that makes sense considering I'd say let's get this portal going and we can start up an enchanting table We're going back for the leather the sugarcane all around here we can get an we can get a much better enchanting setup if we get some leather all right now let's leave the nether let's get this nether portal dismantled and then let's go get some sugarcane and then let's go get some levels and then we'll be in business all right 14 pieces of obsidian ripe and ready wood actually would be nice no pun intended Oh, hello. Hi. Okay. I didn't see you there. So remember what I was saying? Uh, Witherstorm ambience. Uh, I feel like ambience is used to describe a different word. Goodbye. That gave me the most genuine beer I've ever had in my entire life. Okay. Um. Oh no. This is not good. This is not good at all. 
At least we're above water, so if he picks me up, I can shoot him and fall off. I didn't even get to make my nether right chestplate yet. He has no interest in me. That's nice. Um, there was a wall. Oh my god, a nice flat open stretch of land. Um, where's the boat? Where's the boat? Um, I think nether. Um, okay, that's not good. And I don't have any obsidian. Please don't pick up the pork. If you would be so kind. Here with the sword. Oh my god. I thought I had more I thought I was hearing him, but I guess I, I and I guess I was hearing him. Throw the throw it. Oh, he like literally just got bigger. Like just actively as I was sitting there. Okay. Uh that's not oh. Really appreciate that. To the nether, to the nether. No! Ah! I was like ready. I was good. This is why we got so many arrows from the pig ones. Think you're funny? Let's go. Stop shooting my portal. I really don't appreciate it. Goodbye. Good day. Peace. No respect these days. <sighs> well, that sucked. Okay, so the Wither Storm is phase five now. That's that's really good. That's that's what I like to see. So um, I want those still, but why did I just make another crafting table? That was a great use of wood. Smithing table. There we go. Take off our chest plate. And ingot of netherite makes netherite chest plate. We can still do that because it's not 1.20 yet. And I guess I'll keep the crafting table that I made. You know, iron and netherite actually looks pretty good. It doesn't work as well, obviously, but, you know, looks nice. All right, and with that uh, very interesting and very disrespectful encounter from the Wither Storm, I'm going to end the episode here. We accomplished quite a bit today. I mean, look at me. I'm absolutely kind of sort of kitted out. I mean, I got another right chest plate. I got some diamond swords here and the crossbow, obviously. And also enough arrows to escape the Wither Storm's grasp whenever I want. Although only four more ender pearls, which means I'm going to have to start relying on this. And uh, I'm not very confident in that. But regardless, if you did enjoy me running around the nether, getting a bunch of materials, and then at the very end there, running away from the Wither Storm, be sure to like and subscribe for more. I mean, the Wither Storm is coming down. And in the next video, we can probably fight the symbiote which is actually on the same pace as the previous Witherstorm series. But hopefully we won't get blown up by a sick creeper because we don't have that option because uh, zero deaths, remember? So far, so good. But it's only going to get worse from here as the Witherstorm grows stronger. But luckily, I will too. But that's a matter for the next episode. And I'll see you guys in that next episode. Goodbye.